Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of ratio analysis. In the previous videos, we have seen profitability ratios with 15 different calculations. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this series, we are going to see turnover ratios. Okay, in that, first we are going to see two different calculations. Number one, stock turnover ratio, otherwise called as inventory turnover ratio or stock velocity. Number two, inventory turnover period or stock turnover period. Okay, now let's see the problem. See the problem. From the following details of a trader, you are required to calculate stock turnover ratio and stock turnover period. Okay, see the information. Sales 40,000, sales return 400, opening stock at cost 1,500, closing stock at cost 1,800, total gross profit for the year 9000 okay with this information they are asking us to find out stock turnover ratio and stock turnover period okay now let's see the solution this is the formula to find out stock turnover ratio the formula is cost of sales divided by average stock okay what is the formula for cost of sales net sales minus gross profit so net sales means in case of any sales return, just subtract returns from sales in order to find out the net sales. Okay. And after finding the net sales minus gross profit, you will be getting cost of sales. And the next one, average stock. So, this is the formula to find out average stock. That is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. Okay. And after finding the two elements, then you can substitute this formula to find out the stock turnover ratio. Okay. See the problem. They have given sales 40,000, sales returns 400. Okay. So, 40,000 minus return 400, you will be getting net sales. Okay. And after finding the net sales, just subtract gross profit for the year 9,000. Then you will be getting cost of sales. Okay. Divided by average stock. What is the formula for average stock? Opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. Okay. Now, see the calculation. Total sales 40,000 minus sales return 400. You will be getting net sales. So, after finding this, just subtract gross profit 9,000. Okay. So, what is the answer? 39,600 minus 9,000 is equal to 30,600. So, this is cost of sales. And the next one, average stock. So, the formula is opening stock plus closing stock so opening stock 1500 plus closing stock 1800 divided by 2 3300 divided by 2 you will be getting 1650 so this is average stock just substitute these two values in this formula so cost of sales how much 30600 divided by Average stock 1650. So, what is the answer? 18.55 times. So, this is the way to calculate stock turnover ratio. Okay. Now, see the problem. See the problem. We have calculated stock turnover ratio. The next calculation is stock turnover period. Okay. Now, see the calculation. See. This is the formula to find out stock turnover period. Okay. The formula is days or months in the year divided by stock turnover ratio. Okay. So, in the previous calculation, we have found stock turnover ratio. Okay. So, this is the formula to find out stock turnover period. Now, see the previous calculation for stock turnover ratio. Stock turnover ratio is 18.55 times. Okay. Now, See the calculation for stock turnover period. Say, first we are going to find out the stock turnover period in days. Okay. How many days in a year? 365 days divided by stock turnover ratio. Okay. That is 18.55. So, you will be getting 20 days. You can round up the figure. Okay. And the next one, we are going to find out the stock turnover period in months. How many months in the year? 12 months, no. So, 12 divided by stock turnover ratio 18.55 times is equal to 0.6 months. 
so this is the way to find out stock turnover ratio and stock turnover period okay see in the next video we are going to see the remaining ratios under turnover ratios okay you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you